to show y'all that the Moors be lying. The Moors are doing the same thing that they claim white people do. They, 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 they historically being culture vultures while meanwhile trying to disassociate themselves from being African people. See, now this is where the Aboriginal and in, in, in the indigenous argument become confusing with African people. And I'm going to show y'all something in a minute. But first, I got to make my point. The Moors love to say, OK, that they not African. They Aboriginal and they indigenous on top of the fact that they Jack Islam. But that's another thing. for That's another story for another time. That's another story for another time. Right now, we just going to focus on did the Moors civilize Europeans? See, we have to know what is a Moor. A Moor is not a, a, a ethical term. I mean, ethical term. A Moor is a derogatory term used by Germans and Arabs towards black people. A Moor is, a, is, a, is the same thing as calling somebody the N-word. A Moor is the same thing as calling somebody a slave. I got the definition right here. So when niggas be talking about we Moors and Wati Wap, you can't be a derogatory term. That's like that's like me running around saying we bitches and hoes. That's not a, a you can't be a, a bitch genetically, even though some of you niggas was is reincarnated bitch niggas. That you can't be a derogatory term. There's no genetic association with a derogatory term. So let's be clear on that. Okay? Because even the hat that they wear, the feds. That's not uh, indigenous. That's not Indian. That's not African. That is Arabic. That is Turkish. Okay. So we're going to go in on these niggas. But I need, I need one of the Moors to step up and act like they got some in intellectual sense so I can eat your ass alive in front of the whole internet. So go get the, go get the strongest Moor you know. Nigga, bring your fans. Bring your sovereignty papers, nigga, and bring your motherfucking notebooks so I can light your bitch ass on fire on the internet. But first, what we gonna do is we gonna just play. I'm gonna just let y'all niggas know I'm coming to, yeah, I'm coming to play. I'm coming to play. We gonna talk about did the Moors civilize the, Euro the Europeans? See, because these niggas talking about they indigenous to the land. See, now, if you indigenous to the, and I'm going to show y'all some actual paintings of niggas being enslaved in Europe. See, because the, woo, it's going to get out of pocket. It's going to get out of pocket. But listen, if you are indigenous to the Americas, how the fuck was you over there in Europe civilizing anybody? Do y'all see what I'm talking about? These niggas, these niggas be talking about they aboriginals to the land. If you was over here in America, how the fuck was you over there at the same time in Africa and, and, and traveling up to Europe to teach Europeans how to bathe themselves? If you was over here, nigga, where did you get the fit? How did the Turkish feds come way the fuck from Turkey and come way the fuck over? Wait a minute. Wait, a minute. I'm not about to play with you. I'm not about to play with you niggas today. I'm really I'm really not. Let me pull up the map. Because seeing is believing. Seeing is believing. Seeing is seeing is motherfucking believing. Watch this. Now, when I show y'all the map, okay? Look, look at this shit. Look, look, look at this shit. See this DOH? That's Turkey. This where the feds come from. You see this JFK airport? That's New York. How the fuck, if you was way over here in the Americas, was you over here in Europe civilizing Europeans? How the fuck, if you was way over here in the Americas, did you end up practicing Islam and wearing a fez? Ain't no other, ain't no motherfucking Indian tribe in the history of motherfucking history, okay, adopted Islam or the fez. You don't see no motherfucking Cherokee Indians and no Blackfoot Indians running around with no fucking fez on, talking about some goddamn Islam. See, now when you go to the first book, See, I'm finna, I'm finna put it, I'm finna put a knife in the NHS, and I, I'm just playing around right now, y'all. I'm not even serious. Let me show y'all something. When you go to the first book, look, 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 and I ain't even got started yet. Hold on, I'm going to it right now. Where the book at? Cause I got so much heat 
I got so much heat up in this motherfucker. It's really not even funny. It's really not even funny. And then, nigga, don't, don't let me get on Novo Juwali and how he plagiarized that entire book. Because I got that right here, too. So I'm just waiting on one of you Moors to act up. I'm waiting on one of you Moors to act up. Look. Look at this. Look. When you go inside the Holy Quran or the Moor Science Temple of Novo Juwali, th this is the first page. I have this actual book. This is this is Photoshop. I mean, excuse me. This is a uh, scan in here from my actual printer. This is my book. I bought this bitch. OK, don't nobody say it's photoshopped or none of that. When you open the first, the first when you open the book, the first page say what? The fallen sons and daughters of the Asiatic nation. That means the continent of Asia of North America need to learn to love instead of hate. How the fuck is you Asiatic and you from North America? Now watch what it say. It say, and to know of his higher self and lower self. This is the uniting of the Holy Quran of Mecca and the teaching and instructing of all Moorish Americans. Now here's the question. How the fuck, how the, here's the question. How the fuck is you from America, but you subscribe to teachings of, of Mecca? In Islam, and don't no other goddamn Indian nation subscribe to this shit. Now, why? Now, now, here's where it get freaky. Boom. Let's go to the next slide. Here's where it get freaky. Watch this. Boom. When you flip the page and it say divine instructions, okay? See, so it say page one. This is Sultan Abdul Aziz Ibu Suad. It say the descendant of Hagar, now the head of the holy city of Mecca. So, this, okay? Is an Arab in the front of the book. In the front of the book. Now, why? Now, why is this important? What motherfucking Arab Indians do you know? Do y'all niggas know any Arabic Indians? Do you know any Arab Cherokee Blackfoots? Even the five dollar Indians ain't Arab. So here's my thing: How did an Aboriginal group of Indians in America subscribe to Islam when Islam never made it over here? How did they get Fezes when Fezes never made it over here? Why is it not an Indian in the front of your book? Why is it not an Aboriginal indigenous Native American in the front of your book? Why is it a fucking Arab who was born in Mecca in the front of your book? Why do the book say subscribe to Allah? What does Allah have to do with being an Indian? See, so here's the point. These motherfuckers, is, they, they, they culture vulturing. Wherever black people were prominent in history, these niggas is trying to attach themselves. See? Oh, we was the aboriginals. We was doing this, that, and the third. Then black people in Africa thriving. Oh, we was dumb niggas thriving too. Black people go to your, oh, we was dumb niggas in here. So if you let the Moors tell it, they was the Indians. They was the niggas in Spain. They was the niggas in Africa. They was the niggas in, in Antarctica building igloos and shit. If you let the Moors tell it, these niggas was all over the fucking world simultaneously at all time periods in history. See? So this is the point I'm trying to make. These niggas is lying. You're lying, bitch. Now here's my thing. These niggas say they conquered Spain and they conquered Europe, right? Now this is what nobody is thinking about. The holy wars were going on for damn near a thousand to fifteen hundred years over these areas. From Spain to Italy, all the way to the Middle East. So here's the thing. At what point in time, and this I'm, I still ain't even showed the pictures yet. At what point in time did the Black Moors conquer Europe and Spain while it was while while the, while the Byzantine Empire and the Ottoman Turks were at war? Somebody, somebody explain that. See? 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 At what point in time? All I'm saying is show me when you was over there in power. Because uh, Morocco was conquered by the Romans and it was called Mauritania. Nigga, not because of black people, because of white people. So the Roman Empire has had Morocco on lock for damn near a thousand years. And it was called Mauritania. And then the Arabs came and got it and turned it to Morocco. So I just want to know between these two empires, nigga, when was you over there? Conquering. Never. You wasn't over there. You was not over there. Europe. Niggas talking about they civilized white people in Europe. Now, let me get on these niggas' heads. 
Let me get on these niggas' heads now. Now it's time to make them cry. Now it's time to make them cry. Look, look, here we go. Here we go. Now these, now these, these pictures I'm about to show was actually taken by a close friend of mine. These bitches ain't snatched off Google, none of that. And I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with snatching the picture off Google. I'm just telling you these was taken by a friend of mine who actually went inside of both these museums and took these pictures. So when you look at them and you see the background look like you can see the walls and shit because I had to crop it. That's because these pictures were actually taken by a close friend of mine. OK, so if and these two museums are in Paris. Now, let's go. The Paris art. I mean, the, the Paris Museum are proves that the Moors never conquered Europe. Right now, you have the Mu, the uh, Musée d'Orsay Museum. And you have the Claude Monet Museum, right? Now, both of these museums are where these pictures come from. Go look these up yourself, y'all. These are the pictures of slaves. Now, 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 when the Moors show these pictures, or you see these motherfuckers coming down, you, you, a lot of you niggas use this picture in your memes. You be on Instagram and Facebook with these picture in your memes talking about, oh, the black Moors civilized the white man and taught the white man how to bathe. Nigga, this is a slave. See, now these niggas think they slick. These niggas think they slick. And they only want to show you uh, one motherfucking picture. See, but when you when you continue to go through these pictures in this museum, what this look like? Do this look like a nigga that's civilizing a nigga in Europe? What do this look like? Do that look like a nigga that's civilizing a nigga? Do that look like a king or do that look like a slave? He kissing this motherfucker hand. Look, it gets worse. Look, look, this motherfucker over here clipping toes. She over here clipping toes. Huh? So was these niggas civilizing the Europeans or were they slaves? See, I study slavery. Nigga, slavery has been consistent for 2000 years. So all I want to know is when did you civilize Europeans? When you was over there kissing their hands? See, so the Moors want to show you this picture and tell you they were civilizing the European. What they don't want to tell you is this is a slave inside of the European house. Huh? Huh? Look, look, it, look, I got more. Look at this motherfucker bringing roses to the motherfucker and bed. See, now look, look at this motherfucker putting it, putting her shoes on for her. Now, you see this coon picture? Okay. Now, excuse the woman that's halfway in this picture. I told y'all these was taken in real life. But with that being said, okay, you see this coon picture? This picture is, was next to these ones. So this just go to show you what they think about niggas, okay? This just go to show you what they historically thought about you, that you was a jigaboo ass coon. They got these watermelon lip having motherfuckers right next to these pictures. See? See how that works? See how that works? So stop letting these niggas sit here and tell y'all bullshit. You not no motherfucking moor. A moor is not even a moor. A moor is not even a moor. A moor is not even a moor. Nigga, you was a slave, nigga. And the term moor is a derogatory term used by Europe. Look, watch this. Watch this. This is all I'm going to say. Watch this. Please go get a moor. Please go get a moor. Somebody please go get a moor. Tell them let's do it. Tell them let's get it. let's do it. Bring your books. We ain't gotta do none of the extra shit. We ain't gotta do. We ain't gotta do. Watch, watch me break a nigga up. Watch me break. Watch me break they boy up. Watch me. This they boy right here. Now this noble Jew Ali, right? The name Ali is what Arabic. Ali is what a male Arabic name derived from the Arabic root, which literally means high elevated or champion. Arab countries. OK. And the, and the rest of them, I mean, it, it, this is a common name in Arab countries and the rest of the world. Now, why is this important? What kind of Indian nigga, you know, name Ali? Do you know any Blackfoot Indians named Ali? You know any Cherokee Indians named Ali? OK, let's talk about Bay. What do Bay? What is the name Bay? Bay is what? The governor of a district or prominence of the Ottoman Empire, formerly used in Turkey and Egypt as a courtesy title. Bay is what? Is Ottoman and Turkish. Okay? Bey is a Turkish title for a chieftain traditionally applied to the leaders or rulers of various sized areas in the Ottoman Empire. Nigga, 
So you see these niggas running around talking about they name they name Ali Bay or fucking Noble Drew Ali or this shit Bay. Motherfucker, these is Arabic slave master titles. So these niggas is running around with slave master titles and then trying to tell you that these titles come from the Americas when they don't. These titles come from way the fuck on the other side of the world. So these niggas is these niggas have hybridized their culture. That's not a fucking Indian name. It's not. It's not aboriginal to this land. You're not aboriginal to this land. Get the fuck on with that bullshit. Now let me let me hit these niggas where it hurt. Let me hit these niggas where it hurt. Hold on, y'all. Let me hit these niggas where it hurt. Now I gotta make somebody cry. Now somebody about to cry in their fast tonight. Somebody about to cry in their motherfucking fast. Somebody about to cry in their fast. Watch this. Look at this. And I got I got the Black's Law too. I got the Black's Law dictionary too for you niggas if you want that smoke too. Cause y'all out here keep telling people we not black. Talking about black means dead in the eyes of the law. I knock you niggas off on that one too. I knock you niggas off on that one too. I got the motherfucking dictionary right over here, bitch. And I scared the page in, nigga. So I, I could pull it up right now if you need me to, but I ain't. Bitch, I got the motherfucking Black's Law dictionary right here. Yes, 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 I do. Nigga, been had it for, for four years now. Let me pull this up, though. Look, look at this. Look at this shit. More, right? Now, remember I told y'all more is a Germanic term. See? It's a Germanic word. Look. The uh, etymological roots of more or moreno or moros, right? The, the Hispanic term, right? When you look at moro, it says what? Literally more. Now, when you look up the definition of moros or more, it says what? A dull, stupid, or foolish person. Moros. See? Literally means more. What it say? It say, it say moros, the root of the English term moron, moronic, or more. This is where the word moron come from. Motherfucker. It says what? Properly dull, stupid, flat, without edge, figuratively, mentally inert, dull in understanding, nonsensical, moronic. Lacking a grip of reality, acting as though brainless. See, 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 see. Okay, 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 okay. See the the term more. Okay, was a derogatory term. I got more. I got more daggers, but I'm gonna wait. I got more daggers, but I'm gonna wait till somebody act like they want that smoke. The the motherfucking term more was a derogatory term used for slaves by the Arabs. That in the Germans. See? 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 Now the way that you now now everybody ever seen that motherfucking movie uh Black Knight with Martin Lawrence? Remember when the white knight uh sexually harassed the black woman and Martin Lawrence and Martin Lawrence stand up for her? What did the knight say to Martin? What did he say to Martin? He said, Watch your tongue, you more, lest I cut it out. Do you think he was speaking positively to Martin? Or you think he was speaking down on Mark? He was speaking down on Mark. He called him a moor. He was that he wasn't calling him a king. He was calling him a fool ass nigga, a dumb ass nigga. He said, "Watch your tongue, you moor, lest I cut it out." Everybody know the word moor is derogatory, except for these motherfuckers, except for these niggas. See, because they want to play reindeer games and run around in jigaboo hats and shit. See, see, see. Look, I'm not done. I'm a, I'm a cl I'm a clap a couple more times before I go. I'm a clap a couple more times before I go. Look, look, look. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Whoa. Whoa. Watch me. Watch. Watch me pull this one up though. Where it go? Hold on. Watch me hit you niggas with this jug right here. Watch me hit you niggas with this jug right here. Here it go. Here it go. Now we gonna talk. Now we gonna prove. We're going to prove Noble Drew Ali was a fraud. See, I'm just giving y'all tap taps. I'm just giving niggas tap taps. Who want it? Go get go get them more. Go get them more. Go get them more. Look, look, look. I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to show y'all what the Moors was doing. See, see, see. Watch this. Uh-oh, here we go. Is this it? This it right here. Ooh, this about to hurt. This about to hurt. Niggas talk all that shit about Christopher Columbus, right? Niggas talk all that shit about Christopher Columbus, right? Who who do y'all think helping slave black people? Watch this. 
Watch this shit. Watch this freaky shit. See, I give niggas work. I give niggas work. I give niggas work. Look at this. Go get the book. Go get this book. Christopher Columbus in the African Holocaust, uh, slavery and the rise of European capitalism. What it say? It say, then when the Arabs and Moors were expelled from Spain, they returned to Africa after being the masters of the Mediterranean Sea for 750 years. They had no sentimental attachment to Africa. They began to prey on the nations in the South Sahara, principally the old empire of Songhai. Now look at the Spaniard empire right here. Now you see that Moor with the Knights of Templar on his back? Huh? You see that? Now let me go back. Look, look, look. Go to, go to Africa. Mother of Western civilization. What did it say? Huh? It say right here. It was also they. Okay, talking about the Moors. It says just that, just as it was the Moors, African origin, who first entered the like the uh, excuse me, the Iberian Peninsula as conquerors in 711. Now it says what? It was also they who were who were the last to be forced out of the, forced out by the Spaniard Christians in 1485. And then it says from Granada, the expulsion of the African Moors came just seven short years before Christopher Colon, aka Christopher Columbus and his African Moorish chief navigator and captain of the flagship Santa Maria. Who, who, so who helped Christopher Columbus come over here and enslave motherfuckers or more? Okay, what did it say? It say, and his African Moorish chief navigator and captain of the flagship Santa Maria. Okay, uh, then it says, a, a native of Morocco, North Africa. Then it says, uh, set sail for a shorter route to the Far East and ended up in what is today called the West Indies, okay? But which is uh really, but which is in reality the Caribbean. And so here go uh motherfucking Christopher Columbus with his more. See? So niggas always talking about some goddamn Christopher Columbus got over here on accident. No, a dumbass nigga brought him over here on accident. See? See? And I'm just I'm just jumping around right now. I'm just trying to start some shit. I just need a nigga to take the bait. So I can, so I can, so I can, I can throw you in the yoke. Come on, bring the best more that you got, okay? Bring the best more that you got. I got some for you niggas. I got some for you niggas. Watch this. Watch this, dog. Watch this. Y'all talking about slavery? You want to talk about George Washington? Who is that in the background? A more? Who that nigga in the background, dog? See who this? John Hardy Hawkins, huh? The Atl Atlantic slave trade. Who is this? Another more? See? See, look at this. British. You want to talk about the British colony? Look at this. The British colonial empire, our allies, the colonies, the British considered the Moors their allies. Huh? This is from 1870 to 1960. Look, look, you see these niggas in chains? Now look at the nigga on the left with the fez on. You see him with the fez and him on the right? Got these black Africans enslaved. This is this is King Leopold and the Moors. See, see. Now this is in Africa. So I just want to know if the Moors was in Africa helping the white man genocide 14 million Africans from 1908 to 1960. At what point in time was these niggas over here at the same time? Huh? Let's go to another picture. Let's go to another. Look, with the fans on again. Here we go. Let's get look with the fans on whipping his brother. So these is the Moors. These is the Mo the Moors, okay, are the niggas that helped colonize us. That's what a Moor is. See, the the Moors is the niggas that helped colonize us. Hold on, let me pull my flick up. Let me pull my flick up. Hold up, let me pull my flick up. See, I got too much shit in here. I got about this is about a hundred something slide presentation. So I'm jumping around right now. Where's my other joint? Where's my other joint? Where's my other joint? Look, look, here we go, right here. Here we go. Here we go. Look, everything that these niggas rock is from the Middle East. Look, you see this nigga got the fez on and he got the fez on. Now the nigga on the right is an actual Turk. That's a Turk. The nigga on the right, on the left, the black man is an imposter. He's a slave. See? See that? Look, look, look. You see them? You see motherfuckers out here rocking the head wrap? That come from the motherfucking Hindu. That's not Moorish. That's not, it's too motherfucking hot in Africa. 
to be wearing some shit like that. You see that? You see that? That's what them motherfuckers was wearing to stop themselves from getting sunburned. See, I could go on and on and on all day. I could go on and on and on all day, but I'm trying to bait somebody out. You bring them more. Go get them more. Go get them more. Because you niggas is culture vultures. You niggas took a little bit of African history. You niggas took a little bit of indigenous history. You took a little bit of Hindu history. You took a little bit of motherfucking Spaniard history. You took a little bit of European history. And you took a little bit of Islam. And then you barred it up in one motherfucking ball. And now you are more. See? 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 See, I'm not playing with you niggas. And I'm finna drag Noble Jew Ali ass right now just for extra credit. But I want to say this. I want to say this before I do, okay, while I'm pulling this up. I want to say this before I do. If the more, uh-oh, uh-oh, listen, my nigga, listen, my nigga, this is just the picture I was looking for. Look, look, oh my God, I have to show this. Look, look, these are the moors. You see all these niggas with them fezes on? Now you see this, this Spaniard empire? So when the moors get to talking about they conquered Spain. This is what they not telling you. This is what they not telling you. No, they didn't conquer Spain. The white man conquered Spain. Nigga, you was the house nigga. That's like a that's like a black slave catcher saying he conquered niggas in America. No, you helped catch niggas that ran away for master. See, this is why people say the Moors are the biggest race traders in history because they are this picture is not photoshopped this ain't out of no motherfucking movie this is a real picture of these niggas willing to go to war for these europeans and spaniard and colonial powers and they went to war and they helped to genocide over 100 million africans nigga now i want to know if you niggas was in spain okay with the feds on at what point in time was you in it? Which point in time was you aboriginal to the Americas? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Have a seat, bro. You can't be five places at one time, nigga. You can't be five places at one time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but you can't do it. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. Now, hold up, because I'm not done. Look, I'm not done. I'm not done. Hold up. Hold up. I'm not done. I'm skipping through shit. I got a hundred some slides right here. I got a hundred some slides right here. What? Look. Look. I got a hundred some slides. Hold on. Give me. I'm, I'm going through it. Now I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Because I get on you niggas about that sovereignty shit too. But I'm going to wait till one of you pull up on my channel so I can light your ass up. See? See? But we're going to get into plagiarism. We're going to get into plagiarism. See? Because you plagiarize and shit. You plagiarize and shit. Now where is that? Where is that? Here it go. Here it go. Here it go. Okay. Let me break you up. See? Because you stealing shit out the Aquarian gospel too. See? See? Because they don't want to tell you Noble Jew Ali plagiarized the entire motherfucking Circle 7 Quran off the Aquarian gospel. Wait, let me, let me, let me save that for a second. Let me keep kicking. Let me keep kicking. Let me keep kicking. See, I want to say this. I want to say this. You heard? If the Moors civilized the Europeans in Europe. Why when, why when the Spain, see, because niggas think when the pilgrims came over here, that that was the first time white people came over here. That's not true. The Dutch, the French, the Spanish was already over here. See? So when the pilgrims came, the reason it was empty is because the Spaniards and the Dutch and the French and the other Europeans had already wiped out 90% of the black people over here from, 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 from filthy hygiene and zoonotic diseases. So here's my thing. If the Moors successfully conquered Spain and they successfully conquered Europe and they successfully taught Europeans how to bathe, why were the Europeans and the Spaniards so nasty when they came over to the Americas that they wiped out 90% of the population? So do we blame the Moors for, for, for European uh, hygiene when the Black Plague? See, we bury our dead six feet today because Europeans, when they was living amongst animals, they, they was uh, intaking pathogens that couldn't exit their body. And they was dying from zoonotic disease. And they thought it was a plague. 
or a form of witchcraft. Everybody heard about the black, the black plague. And so what happens was they was burying their dead six feet deep because they thought the plague wouldn't affect them. But they didn't know that the plague came from the way that they was living with the animals. So my thing is this. Where were the Moors during the Black Plague? If you was in Europe conquering the motherfucking Europeans, nigga, how did the Black Plague spread not only to Europe, but came over here and wiped out? It was a, it was over 100 million black people in the Americas. When Europe, when, ca when Caucasians came over here, off their hygiene alone, they wiped out 90% of the niggas that was over here. So my thing is, what kind of job did you do? If the Moors really civilized Europe and Spain, what kind of job did you do? Y'all talking about y'all had a 750 year run. Motherfucker, do you know how long, do you know how long motherfucking Spain and Europe has been filthy historically? Nigga, y'all had about a thousand years to clean them motherfuckers up. So at what point in time did you clean them motherfuckers up? And then if you was over here, why is it documented over here that this was the first time y'all seen white people if you was allegedly already over there dealing with white people? Huh? Huh? What you, why? 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 If you are Aboriginal to this land, but yet allegedly you civilized white people in their land, why when they came over here, you said this was the first time you ever seen them? Answer me that. Because you should have already had a seen them. If you were civilizing them for 700 something years, how the fuck do that work? How does that work? That's like me saying, nigga, I just was with some bloods and some crips in California. And then they come to Buffalo and I say, damn, that's the first time I ever seen a blood or a crip. Why is that the first time if I just was with them, nigga? And if you cleaned them up, why when they came over here, did they kill 90% of y'all motherfuckers if you cleaned them up? Because you was a lying ass bitch. That's why. You was a lying ass hoe. Now let's get on Noble Jew Ali. Let's get on Noble Jew Ali. Okay? Because he's a plagiarizer. See? See? Now the book, the, the, uh, the scan on the left that say chapter 48. Okay? It, this is coming out of, whatchamacallit, the Aquarian Gospel. Now the shit on the right is the cover of Noble Jew Ali and the Holy Quran of the Moor Science Temple. Mind you, I'm still trying to figure out why Indians in America are reading a fucking Quran, but whatever. Now, if you read the uh the uh whatchamacallit, the fucking um the goddamn Aquarian gospel, excuse me, it says what in chapter 48? It says Jesus receives the hierophant, his mystic name and number passes the first brotherhood test and receives his first degree, which is sincerity. The master took down from the wall a scroll on which was written down the number and the name of every attribute and character, he said. Now it says what in verse two? The circle, listen to what I'm saying. It says the circle is the symbol of the perfect man and the seven is the number of the perfect man. The logos is the perfect word, that which creates, that which destroys, and that which saves. The Hebrew master is the, lo is the holy one, the circle of the human race, and seven of time. And in the record book of the scribe wrote down the logo circle seven and thus was Jesus known. Now let me tell you why this is important. You see this circle on the fucking Morris Science book with the seven in it? I just read out of another book that the circle seven is what they can send you to, is what they uh contribute to be the symbol of Jesus Christ. I just read it out of the Aquarian gospel. So here's the thing. How is a fucking indigenous Indian, a uh, Arab that subscribes to Mecca, but then also acknowledges Jesus Christ when Indians don't believe in Islam or Jesus Christ? This is your book. I didn't make this shit up. Bitch, you put the seven circle on there. Motherfucker, you put it on there. Nigga, I didn't put it on there. How the fuck you got Jesus Christ and Muhammad and Mecca and fucking Native Americans? On the same book. How you do that? How did they do that? Nigga, Jesus or Muhammad ain't come over this motherfucker. So that just goes to show y'all niggas is, is y'all niggas doing the same shit that y'all claim white people do. But you doing it. You, you culture vulturing and you hijacking culture that has nothing to do with you. There is no Christian Indians. There are no Islamic Indians. There are no Turkish Indians, nigga. So you got a Turkish hat. 
you subscribe to Islam, but then you acknowledge Jesus Christ all while being a fucking aboriginal to America? Y'all niggas is crazy. What is wrong with y'all niggas? Explain that. Explain the cover of your book, nigga. Don't don't talk. Don't say shit to me until you explain how the fuck Jesus Christ got on the book of an Indian that subscribed to Mecca. That's like Satan. That's like Satan being on the cover of a Christian nun that subscribed to being a crip. How, what the fuck is y'all doing? What are y'all talking about? Is you stupid? Now, let me keep it moving. Because I'm not done breaking niggas up. Because I'm going to show you a fraud. You want to see a fraud? You want to see a fraud? I'll show you a fraud, Jim. Let me show you a fraud, Bill. See? We're going to show you we're going to show you that noble fake ass Drew Ali plagiarized all that shit. And then I'm going to end here cuz I'm giving this like I said I got a hundred some slide. This was a hundred some slide lecture I did. Okay? This was a hundred some slide lecture I did. See? See? This was a hundred some slide lecture. Let me go to the last part. Let me go to play. Let me go to the plagiarism. I'm going to show y'all Noble Drew Ali copied the motherfucking Aquarian gospel word for fucking word. See? Word for fucking word. Now watch this. Where is that? Watch this. Watch this. See? See? Here we go. Here we go. Watch. Watch this. Watch this. Boom. Here we go. All right. I got it. I got it. Hold up. I'm pulling it up. I'm pulling it back up. Don't worry. I'm not going nowhere. Look. Look. I, look. This shit scanned. I don't want nobody talking about some fucking... Uh, I don't want nobody talking about this Photoshop, none of that. I know a lot of y'all saying going on sovereignty. I already blaze sovereignty. I'm going to wait, though, until I get a moron here so I can light they ass up. Because I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want, listen, I want a nigga on here so I can say, nigga, what is this? Explain this, nigga. Explain this. You feel me? Y'all not about to, nigga, we running. If it's false, we getting it the fuck out of here. We not coming into 2020 with no confusion at all. Nigga, we coming into 2020. Clear-minded and ready to ascend. We're not coming into 2020 with this conscious community bullshit. Okay? Look. Look at this. Look at this. Now, this shit was written by Nobo Drew Ali. Right? Hold on one second, y'all. It's saved. Hold on. It's doing some auto-save. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's doing some auto-save. See, I'm not about to play with you niggas. I'm not about to play with you niggas. At all. At all. At all. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm not about to play with you, nigga. Soon as it load up, I'm coming right back. Soon as it soon as it load up, I'm coming right back. <laughs> nigga out here, half y'all, half y'all nigga, if you want to be real, half y'all niggas only become moors because you think you're gonna get a check. <laughs> Bitch, you ain't getting no check. You're not getting a check. Now, okay, we loaded. Let's go. Now, look, 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 look. The book on the left, okay, is out of the Holy Quran of the Moors. The book on the right is the Aquarian Gospel. See? Now, watch Now watch this shit. See? See? This going to show y'all that the Moors is full of shit. This is out of... Wait a minute. Let me pause this shit. Let me pause this shit. Because I, I got to be serious for a minute. My right hand to my ancestors. Put this on my beautiful children. Put this on my dead homie mix. I didn't Photoshop this. All I did was scan this shit in. This is what they wrote. I'm not doing... Y'all know I never do no fuck shit to prove my points. I do research. But I want to reiterate that. Because this shit finna be so evident and blatant that I know they gonna try to say I did something. I got the actual book right here. Unaltered. If y'all need me to pull it out, I will pull it out. This, none of this information has been altered. You can go on, on, on Amazon right now and buy a more Science Temple Quran. And then you can go buy the Aquarian Gospel. You can go to these exact pages right now like I did and put them side by side. And they will say the same thing. Nobody's making this up. See? Noble Jew Ali copied the fucking Aquarian Gospel word for word. The, the Moors are a plagiarized hybrid entity. Watch this. Look, 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 look. Now, 
the uh Nogo Ju Ali wrote this motherfucker in 1926. Okay, the query. Now watch this. Watch this. On the left is Nogo Ju Ali, and on the right is the Aquarian Gospel. If you go to chapter four of Nogo Ju Ali book, it says verse one. When John was 12 years old, his mother died and neighbors laid her body in a tomb among her kindred in the in the Hebron burying ground and near uh, the Zacharias tomb. Now, if you go to the Aquarian gospel and you go to motherfucking chapter 15 right here, verse one, it says what? When John was 12 years old, his mother died and neighbors laid her body in a tomb among the kindred of the Hebrew burying ground and near Zachariah's tomb. It say that they copied this shit word for word. Let's go to verse two, because you might say, Pharaoh, that's just a coincidence. That's just a coincidence. Let's go to verse two. Verse two, chapter four of the Holy, of the more scientific Quran says what? And John was deeply grieved. He wept. Mathino said, it is not well to weep because of death. Now let's go back to the Aquarian gospel. Okay. Verse two, what do it say? And John was deeply grieved and he wept. Mathino said, it is not well to weep because of death. What? What? Listen, every last one of them bitches say the same thing. I'm not going to read the whole shit. You can do it yourself. So this shows y'all these niggas is thieves. These niggas trying to steal indigenous culture. They trying to steal African culture. Then these niggas trying to steal Islam from the Arab. And then they trying to steal Jesus from the white man. Put it all in one pot and then give it to you. So these niggas was some Indian, Christian, Hebrew, fucking, fucking Muslim, European, civilizing Christopher Columbus sailing slave motherfuckers. They was over here. They was over there. These niggas was civilizing fucking aliens on other planet. These niggas is crazy. And y'all niggas be out here going for this shit. What? What you talking about? These be the same niggas talking about the white man, but they got Jesus and Allah on the front of their book, but they claim to be aboriginal. But then, but then the teachings of the more scientific Holy Quran come right out of a book that's based on the Bible. So how you talking about Mecca and you talk and you subscribe to Islam, but then the teachings in your book come from the Bible? I just look. I'm gonna give y'all more just to show y'all I'm not pump faking. Look, I'm gonna go to another slide. On the left is the Holy Quran. On the right is chapter thirty-two in the Aquarian Gospels. Just to show y'all I'm not pump faking. Look. In it, now, on the left, you see it says Jesus and Barada. Together, they read the sacred books. Now, I just want to say this before I continue. What kind of Indian do you know documented the life of Jesus? What kind of aboriginal nigga do you know documented the life of Jesus? They don't even know what the fuck Jesus is. So why is the word Jesus even in a book that got to do with aboriginal history, period? See? See? See how they do? See how they do? See how they do? And I done broke these niggas up already. Uh, whatchamacallit, on my website. Go subscribe to youngferro.net. I did a whole lecture on these niggas. I done broke these niggas up already, okay? But here we go. What does it say? Verse one in the in the, in the, Mor in the Morris Quran. Let's read, family. Let's read. What does it say? It says, among the Buddhists, priest was one who saw a lofty wisdom in the words that Jesus spoke. It was Barado Arabo. Now, this is in a Moorish science temple uh, book. How the fuck do the Moors know what a Buddhist monk is? How does an a Indian never met a, a Native American never met a Buddhist monk? They never met Jesus. They don't know what the fuck Jesus said. Never heard of him. Now, let's go to verse one in the Aquarian gospel. OK, it says among the Buddhist priests was one who saw a lofty wisdom in the words that Jesus spoke. It was Barada Arabo. These niggas copied this book word for word, even the title. Look at the title at the Moore Science Temple book. It says, Jesus and Barada, together they read the sacred books. Now look at the title in the Aquarian Gospel, chapter 32. It says, Jesus and Barada, together they read the sacred books. Jesus takes exemption to the Buddhist doctrine of evolution and reveals the true origin of man. So the only thing Noble Ju Ali did was not put the rest of the title when he stole it. Look, let's keep going. There's more. There's more. There's more. Chapter 16 says what? 
a superstitious people are the Jews. They have a faith that they have borrowed from the idol worshipers of other lands that at the end of every year. How the fuck do an Indian know what a Jew is? How do an Indian know what a Jew is? Now let's go to chapter 168 in the Aquarian Gospel. What does it say? A superstitious people are the Jews. They have a faith that they have borrowed from the idol worshipers of other lands. That at the end of every year, I'm come on, I'm done. I'm done, man. Go get a more. Go get a more. Can you somebody go get a more, please? I'm about to buy a fast. Fuck it. Fuck it. I already got I, I already got this motherfucker, but this this motherfucker ain't for the job. I need a fast today. Bitch, I'm about to go on Amazon right now and get a fast. Can somebody go get a more? Can you please go get a more? Can somebody please go get a more? Go get a more. Somebody call Nick Cannon or something. Go get a more, man. So we can get to the bottom of this. Because this shit is about truth. This shit is not about leading our people back to slavery. See? See? Because what these niggas don't tell you, okay, is Morocco is considered territory of the Ottoman Turks, the Arabs. This is why they consider to be sovereign from America, because America is a Christian nation. Huh? The, 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 over there in the East, that those are Islamic nation, uh, nations. When you go to court over here, you put your hand on a Bible. When you go to court over there, and when you get in trouble over there, you sub, you subject to Islamic law. See? So what the Moors be trying to do, listen, shh, I'm going to be quiet. Go get a more. Go get a more. And bring your sovereignty paper too, bitch ass nigga. Fuck is you talking about? Watch this. Bitch, go get a more. Somebody go get me a more right now. Get me a more right now. Look at this. Look, look, look. These are the original, these are the original Moorish nationality cards from Noble Jew Ali. You see at the bottom it say Noble Jew Ali. Now, this motherfucker say Islam. It got the Masonic handshake on there. And then it got Allah with the Jesus Christ emblem on the top. See? It says, this is your nationality and identification card for the Moorish Science Temple of America and birthrights for the Moorish Americans, etc. We honor all the divine prophets. Jesus, who? Muhammad, Buddha, and Confucius. May the blessings of the God of our Father, Allah, be upon you that you carry this card. We do hereby declare that you are a Muslim under the divine laws of the Holy Quran of Mecca. Now watch this. Here's the, here's the only thing that's wrong with that. What kind of aboriginal motherfucker do you know claim aboriginal status over here but with Mecca? Why don't the Moors claim aboriginal status actually over here? Why are they claiming sovereignty for a land that's on the other side of the motherfucking world? What kind of Indians do you know are claiming sovereignty in the name of Jesus Christ and Allah and a land that's not over here? Never been ruled by Indians over here ever. Huh? So these niggas think they slick. You niggas not slick. Nigga, you niggas not slick. And I'm playing right now. I'm playing around. I'm joking. So y'all might think, oh, young Pharaoh applying that pressure. I'm playing games. I'm not even serious. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to force these niggas out they hole, nigga, go get your best nigga, I don't want no little nigga more, so when I crush him, motherfuckers be talking about, well, he ain't really studied the knowledge, go get a, go get a big nigga, go get a big nigga more, go get me a nigga that's been doing this for 20 years, 30 years, and let me eat this nigga fez off his head, I'm playing right now, I'm not even serious, I'm playing, I got, I, I got it, I do this, go get a more, somebody go get me a fucking more, now, now, Bring me his head and lead the feds on that motherfucker. Go get him more. Somebody please 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 go get him more. Go to the motherfucking Indian reservation right now and ask one of them $5 Indians, do they got a feds in that bitch? Please, go get him more. See, I'm playing. I'm playing around. I'm not even serious. So this is just the goal to let y'all know I'm not playing with these niggas. I'm not playing with nobody. I'm on, a, I'm on everybody head, nigga. Come on. I want y'all to jump me on the internet. Try <laughs> nigga, I'm on this bitch like IP man. Nigga, I'm fighting Moors, Christians, Hebrews. Nigga, clap me a motherfucking a rabbi too. Hit a nigga with a Torah too. Nigga, I get on a Freemason. Huh? If you, what, what, what you mean? Nigga, they say black Freemasonry is clandestine Freemasonry now. 
It's not official. They not Jack. What? Nigga, your uncle bring him on here. Tell him to debate me on the origins of Black Freemason. I knock his motherfucking wig off on this internet. See? Nigga, I, I, want, it, I want it with everybody. Bitch, we getting out. We clearing the field on the way to 2020, man. Go get them more. Somebody 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 go get them more. They show me an Islamic Indian. Damn. Damn. See, let me show y'all pictures of what they said the Indians look like. I'm going to show y'all one pic. This is the last picture I'm going to show. See? See? This is the last picture. Now, this is an original painting. These are original, original paintings. See? These are original paintings. See? Watch this. Let me show you something. <clears throat> Let me show you a picture of an original. I mean, excuse me. These are original photographs. Right? Let me show you something. The nigga on the left <clears throat> is a real indigenous Indian. The nigga on the right is what you call a $5 Indian. I already explained that. I'm pretty sure you seen the video. I ain't got to do that again. Do you see any one of these niggas wearing a fez? Do it look like any one of these niggas worship Jesus or Allah or Muhammad or Mecca? Do it look like any one of these niggas ever been to Europe in their motherfucking life? No. No, it don't. It don't. So where is you? Where is y'all niggas? How is y'all niggas claiming the history of these people? And you're not these people. What are you doing? What are you talking about? Now let me go to let me go to another picture. Let me go to another picture so I can wipe your head off. Let me go to another picture. See, I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all a picture. I'm gonna show y'all a picture. See, now this is what the Europeans said the Indians looked like when they first came over here. <clears throat> See, this a this a this a this an official painting. This is what they said. The Europeans. Wait a minute, bitch! I need water. There we go. We right back. This is what the Europeans said the Indians looked like when they came over here. Do it look like these niggas believe in Jesus? Do it look like these niggas believe in Jesus? See? Do it look like they believe in Jesus? Do it look like they believe in Muhammad, Allah? Do it look like they get, do it look like they ever heard of Muhammad? Do they got a fez on? No. 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 So if, if the if the if the Spaniards, okay, was the first people, because people think Europeans was the first people to introduce people to Jesus. No, the Catholic Church and the Spaniards was, okay, with the Latin Vulgate. So when the Spaniards came over here with the Latin Vulgate, and then the Europeans came over here with the King James Bible and forced Christianity on the Negroes, a.k.a. the motherfucking Indians. They had to force it on them because they didn't know who the fuck they was. So that being said, why the fuck is y'all in this Circle 7 Quran trying to tell people that you an aboriginal nigga and teach people about a God that was forced on you, allegedly, if you claiming the nigga that was already, if you claiming to be the nigga that was already over. Get out of my face, man. Get out of my face with that bullshit. Bitch, pick a spot. First of all, if y'all want to debate, can we pick a spot first? Can we pick a spot? Where was you niggas at? Was you niggas in the Americas? Or was you niggas in Africa? Or was you niggas in Europe? Was you niggas in Spain? Was you niggas in Mecca? Was you niggas? Let me show y'all. Let me get a map so that y'all can understand how critical this is. Because these niggas is claiming 30,000 different territories. Okay? simultaneously. Let me get a map. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I feel like Dora. I feel like Dora the Explorer right now. Backpack, backpack. Let me get my motherfucking map. <laughs> Let me get my motherfucking map. Okay. Let me get my motherfucking map. See, I'm going to show y'all why the British, I'm going to show y'all why the Moors claim to be everywhere. See, remember I showed y'all this picture, our allies, the British. See, look at these motherfuckers conspiring with the British. That's a more right there. See? So when you see these motherfuckers talking about they civilized the Europeans, they didn't civilize shit. They was working with the Europeans to enslave us. See? When you was in the, when you was in the field picking cotton, that the Moors was, was showing these motherfuckers the, the ways of the land. See? Huh? That's who the Moors were. Look. Look. Nigga, this is, this is from the British. This not no black. This is from the British. 
the British documented that their allies were Negroid. 